like if David Bell didn't play Fridays, everything's still progressing. With yes. The yeah, getting close. How difficult with all the injuries at receiver has it been to kind of develop any sort of cohesion within the offense? Yeah, I think, again, I go back to we had an offseason. We had a nine-week offseason program. got a bunch of good reps there. Uh, and and we're, we're making good strides, uh, obviously, as guys like David come back in the lineup and we'll get extra work with them. Uh, during practice, off to the side, those type of things, but I don't think that's any different uh, year to year. Kevin, when Jacoby starting to get the bulk of the refs, is there even a little element for you as the coaching staff to work on the play calling, just even to get him to know what he needs in that offense? I think we've been doing it, honestly, Matt, since the beginning with, with our guys, like making sure that uh, we have a real good understanding what our what our guys do well, and I think that goes for every single one of the quarterbacks. So I think we, we're uh, definitely we've made a lot of ground there, and then we'll continue to have those type of conversations with the players. I get the reality of it and the reason for it, but do you think it's hard for Deshaun to go from getting the bulk to not getting as many first team reps? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think obviously we, we know he's going to be unavailable starting week one, so we uh, this has been our plan. I think he he understands what we're doing. He, he's on board. Does that plan now extend to Dobbs also to get him more reps? It will. So does Deshaun takes more of a back seat in practice now, or is he going to get reps He'll, with the back end? Yeah, I think, again, it goes back to we got to get everybody ready to play. Uh, and Deshaun certainly still needs to continue to improve in, in all areas. So he'll get his work. Uh, I just think you'll see the, the share of the majority going to Jacoby. Uh, we saw Isaiah Thomas get those two sacks. What else has he shown you in in, uh, in practice here, Kevin? Yeah, he's a uh, really good kid. Uh, you know, when we were doing our research, this draft process, he, he was a guy that he's a program guy, and uh, he, he's been great in that area, great in the building, does what he's supposed to do, and then really good size. So he's got big end potential for us. Uh, getting a, a few sacks the other night, showing his uh, technique, showing his energy, uh, his relentless pursuit, those type of things. One more thing on him. He told us that uh, his girlfriend's having a baby. He's going to be a girl dad. Do you have any advice for him? As, uh, I do. Well, I'm going to keep it between IT and, and myself. He said, though, that you guys had talked it over about him yeah. trying to be there. Is the, yeah, he's, like he's going to be there. Oh, okay. he's going to be there. Okay. Uh, he's not going to miss that. Yeah, I, I don't, Mary Kay, uh, to the second part of your question. I just think, as you can imagine, it's our job to focus on the things that are important in those game settings, and that's our job and what we're doing. Uh, and we'd be doing ourselves a disservice if we focused on anything that people were saying about us uh, before the game, during the game, after the game, those type of things. Are you expecting? I mean, do you feel like you, I mean, is that something, or is that something that maybe, I mean, he said he's getting counseling. Maybe that's something that he'll work with in his program. Could be, yeah. Um, again, I think playing this sport, uh, we understand that you're going to go into some stadiums uh, that pre present hostile environments. That's how the NFL works. Uh, they try to use it as, to their home field advantage, but uh, we have an awareness of that. Do you have any more uh, information, Kevin, on Nick Harris? You told the assessment that it just still might I don't have the – no, I don't. Not right now. Are you expecting a decision on Deshaun this week? I don't know. The, uh, the, the counseling, was that team mandated or Deshaun, did Deshaun make that decision to go ahead? And I'm not going to get into the specifics of that. And do you um, train somebody now to take over as a kind of an interior swing man? Done. Yeah, I think it's going to be sorted out here, Tony. I think it's a good question, and it's one of those things that this is what training camp's for, and we're trying different combinations in there. We have guys that have snapped the football in, in NFL games before, uh, in practice, those type of things. So we'll continue to work them in there and see how it shakes out. Is that more likely than acquiring another center? Yeah, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even begin to go there. I just know we have guys on the roster that we're working in there. Ethan was kind of hedging on being with the ones today. Is that just because he thinks he might be splitting time? Or <laughs> you know, he's a good offensive line. He's going to do what he's told. So when Bill tells him go in there, he'll go in. What did you tell? What, I was going to say, what's the plan for Bill to tell him to do today? 
to go in there with the ones. <laughs> you have uh, you've indicated uh, that you don't intend for set to play the second game, but you're going to get a lot of work this week. Correct. Is that going to be true for most of the starters? Yes. Yes. And then play game three? We'll get to game three, but uh, for this Philly week, we got them coming in Thursday and Friday. Obviously, we got three practices. We'll take a break. Then we got the Philly uh, guys coming in for Thursday, Friday. We'll get a lot of good work there, and then likely rest a lot of guys in that Philly game. This is such a uh, an important week for you guys, as far as the work that you're going to try to accomplish. So, just coming off the preseason game, having yesterday pseudo off. Just what's your message uh, to your team going into this week? Yeah, we're still in training camp mode. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. We're out of installation uh, on all three sides of the ball. So now we're uh, working some things and, and moving guys around, so to speak. Uh, but we're the, the work has not uh, stopped. We, we got to get back to work. When you review practice film and, and the game film, specifically at the receiver position, you're at the, a point, I'm sure you're going to say you're not concerned, but it's <laughs> at a point you need to see guys catching the ball and making plays. Yeah, I, I think obviously, you know, we want to catch the ball. Uh, that's the obvious part. I think for us, it's just getting back to the work, Tony, and focusing on the techniques that go into that uh, and using these opportunities here at practice to get better. Jacoby and Ethan, would you say that uh, the transition might be easier considering that those guys have probably worked so much together since the start of the offseason? Yeah, certainly for the center quarterback exchange, yes. I mean, they've gotten a lot, they've gotten the most reps together as a battery. Um, so that is something that those two have already made mention of. Well, Greg Newsom practice today. I know he stopped. Uh, he won't right. practice today. Is it the hamstring issue? Yes. Do you yep. know how long he'll miss? Uh, he, it's, we're working through it. Um, won't be a long time. Michael Woods still not, not ready yet. This week. Yeah, not ready yet.